for myself. In fact, I'm going to say, y'all pray for me. Don't ask me to. Oh, how happy I will be when I journey here in love. And I look upon your face, and you hear say, well done. You're in all the faithful pride, and my child is heaven first. Here in that mind, all of you, just as we try to gain. It's time to gain. It's time to gain. Well,
Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread? But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, he that curse the father or mother, let him die to death. But you say, Whosoever shall save his father or his mother, it is a gift. Or whatsoever thou mightst be profited by me, in honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. 
Thus have you made the man of God and not back by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did he say as the prophet, that he, did he say as prophesy of you, saying, These people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. He called them up to them and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, that which cometh out of the mouth this defileth the man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Praise the Lord. We're blessed this evening to be in the house of the Lord. Yeah. Uh, to be with the people of God. Amen. There could be a lot of places tonight. There we are. Could have left this world without hope tonight. But the Lord saw fit, bless us, bring us in, wash us, make us whole, <coughs> set us in the body of His ecclesia. I'm going to relate something to you and uh, we'll go from there. I thought yesterday uh, Tammy and I took Izzy out with us and uh, she got to crying and she wanted some milk. And we asked her if she wanted a bite bite and something to eat. And, and she cried and she said, uh, no, milk. So guess what we did? We went and hunted her some milk. And Tammy went in, I sat with her in the car. And uh, don't worry, she got the milk. But as Tammy went in and was in there for a little bit, I noticed a, a man that came out of the building. And uh, a woman was leading him along. He had a hold of a shopping cart. And she had the front of it. And she was leading him along. And I could tell that he was blind. And... At one point, uh, there was a there was a car that was up on the up on the sidewalk there that somebody had left. Down the way they were running away, and I would kind of work the bottom, you know, running into it. Uh, but it was one of those moments where the Lord had me sit and watch. And uh, as they went by, they just made it past the car. But you know, those carts a little wider in the back than they are in front. And uh, that cart took the other one and off it came to the sidewalk. And I said, well, you know, they had a car. And it didn't just stop just a little shy. Uh, but she walked him on down and uh, they walked across the way and they had a little concrete barrier made up like a little flower bed and, and she walked him right over to it. And then she walked around alongside of it. And it was made kind of like, it went like this, like, like an L shape. But she turned to the left, she could get to lead him along, and she came into another barrier. There they was. She finally turned around and walked all the way, and, and then she turned and walked over until she felt another barrier, and then turned right and began to lead him a little further. And now the two of them walked through a, a big, big, big water hole. And uh, you say, this where we're going with this. I knew he was 
blind. But he had a problem. Because the woman that was leading him was also blind. And the little thing that you and I would see were big obstacles to them. He was dependent on her and she was doing her best. But the blind was leading the blind. And when the blind leads the blind, even the smallest of things become a great obstacle in the way. They couldn't get over it because they couldn't see it. And I began to pray. I felt compassion. Just, if you don't feel compassion something like that, there's something wrong with you. But there I sat. And the water began to kind of deal with me a little bit. We began to come out. I began to tell Tammy about it. She began to drive off. And she said, it's kind of like what the Bible said. It? I knew where she was going. The blind lead the blind. The boat shall fall into the ditch. And I, I got to thinking about our little church that we've got. That the Lord has blessed us to have. And I, I appreciate, especially tonight, I appreciate the air conditioning. That's, that's nice. Fans are nice. Hardwood floor, pretty ceiling. I mean, that's nice. But that's not the church. That's the church house. And there are places you could go to in this world that you would be in awe of the grandeur of the church. Marvel. Great works of art. But they've got a problem. There's no spirit of God in what they do. I want you to notice something. I said no spirit of God in what they do. There are spirits that are out there, but they're not from God. There is no spirit of God that would ever teach or lead a man or woman into something that contradicts the Word of God. Amen. 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 Lord, now I'm not expecting, I hope by now I'm not expecting to shock you and bring something you never heard, but I'm willing tonight to bring this again. That we should be thankful that the Lord opened our eyes and let us see. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Lamb of God. Through whom, by whom salvation was purchased. For everybody. At one time, a group of people that sat in darkness, we saw a great light. And that light was Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. The only begotten Son of God. And the first begotten of the dead. Yeah. Amen. Hmm? Amen. You'd be surprised how many that stumble along. They go to church. They sit in, in lovely places. But they're missing something. But you and I are sitting here tonight and, and just a moment ago, many of you were, if you if you not fall out with the use of the word, enraptured in the spirit of all. You might get caught up on it. You ever get caught up in the spirit? Praise the Lord. Don't worry. I'm not going to cross doctrine with you tonight. Man. You ain't never been lifted up in the spirit. What you felt just a while ago, there are people that have no idea what that is. If you walked in here, if they brought in among us, they would look and they would say, There's something about that sound that sounds different than anything I've ever heard before. They said, There's a look upon those people. I'm not talking about what we wear on the outside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've got no disco ball and no stage lights. But we have the truth. Praise the Lord. We have the Spirit. Praise the Lord. And according to Jesus, that's the two requisites of worshiping God. The Spirit and in the truth. Praise the Lord. You'd be surprised how many who cannot see what you take for granted every day of your life. Praise the good Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We ought to appreciate what we have. Jim and I have been to places at times that the Lord would send me. I would go. I would do His will. I was there the way I am here. You would want me to preach, I'd preach exactly the same way there and I would here. But there have been places that the Lord has let me go that when I got to come back, even the drywall in this church felt precious to me. Even the walk and put my hand on the back of the pews in this place. I felt appreciative of that that God had given me understanding of. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, in the sweet lamb of God. Can you feel anything this evening? Got a blue in your soul. I don't need to come and rub on you, I don't need to come and pray on you. But there is a Holy Ghost from God out of heaven. Now cry out, pull me and cry back from on your head, and they get upon you. And there are people that don't even see that, don't even know that there is anything to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. Hello, now listen to me. I wasn't putting her down because she was blind. No, I wasn't. She couldn't help it. But I felt to pray for her. I'm not up here tonight to put down anybody in any church house around here. But we ought to pray for them. Yes. 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 Yes.
They don't know. They some things you don't know unless you have time and experience in the Lord. Amen. And He teaches you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It was time that I, I began to ask the Lord along the way to help me to bring things. Listen to me. Listen close to what I'm saying. Bring things and preach things that are, that are not changed. They're still the same. But it's all in how the deliverer delivers it. Amen. A little bit of charity. We'll go a mighty long way. Do you know how blessed you are this evening? There are those that if you say charity, they think you're talking about the will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the charity that be the love of God. You have felt. You have to feel bad when He saved you. Right. If you never got charity, you've never been saved. Amen. 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 He is born of God and born of love. love. For God is. Love. Stumble 
over the little things. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, come on. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Tell you got a time he, he, he give me a little bit better vision. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I've been praying one time at church. I, sometimes I lay, sometimes I kneel, sometimes I walk. And that time I was walking. And I began to pray. And I, I said, Michael, I walked over to the window there and looked out. And I said, Lord, you help me love you more than I love this world. Oh, I thought I was having a good prayer. Help me love you more than I love this world. His voice spoke back to me. He said, I said not to love the world at all. Right. And you asked me to let you love me more than you love the world? I said, don't love the world at all. Yeah. You know what he had to do? Go get the book and turn over to John and read it to right. myself.
but he was blind to what he was doing. He thought he was doing the will of God, but it was not until God struck him blind that he began to see. Sometimes God is going to lay his hand upon us. Yeah. You ever had a tap on your shoulder? Yeah. You're going along jolly in life and all of a sudden he's got your attention. Yeah. Thank God that He got our attention on this side. Yeah. Thank God that He dealt with me on this side. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. There are none so blind as those who refuse to see. Yeah. 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 You can say, blind man, you can reason. Can you reason with me? You can reason with me. say some things. But you can take a sighted man that won't listen. You cannot get him to see. Yeah. You mentioned the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. There's some people will shut it down as soon as they hear. You mentioned speaking in tongues. There's some will ridicule that. They'll shut it down as soon as they hear. You mentioned taking that service. There's some will shut that down as soon as they hear. There's some don't even believe in laying hands on the sick. But I'm glad that I can see. I'm glad I can see. Praise the Lord. I'm not bragging about me. I'm bragging about the Lord. He had mercy on me. And He opened my eyes and let me see. He let me see where I was at. He let me see where I was headed. I can look back sometimes and see what my life would have been if He had not dealt with me and given me the understanding. And I took Him up on that offer. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But the blind leave the blind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is the first day of the week. You know that? Yeah. You may be sitting there doing your math. Yeah. Go home and look at your calendar. This is the first day of the week. Let's start it off right, shall we? Huh. Some of you give me that Monday morning look. You thought it was Monday. Yeah. Oh, Wrong. <coughs> Seventh day, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Many languages around the world. It's got a weak word based on South. Ask the Mexican folks. They say Sabado. Yeah. Sabbath.
Why are we making it? Samson was a man that the Lord he knew with power. No razor was to ever come up on his head. He also couldn't make any wine. But he had a problem. He couldn't leave strange women alone. And he kept pulling around, kept pulling around, kept pulling around. He even got one place, he married one, she died. She murdered, killed. And he wound up that last time to the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. And finally, after she tried and tried and tried, finally she got him to reveal his heart to her. Yeah. And if she, you know, had the enemy of do, she petted and he fell asleep. And while he was asleep, she called and they brought a razor and then shaved those rocks off of his head. Uh, and then she cried out and, and called my name and cried out from the rise. And the Philistines be upon you. And the Bible teaches how that he rose up just like he had always done before. Uh, he shook himself, but he wished not that the Lord had already departed from him. Uh, do you know the first thing the enemy did when they realized that he had lost his power with God? The first thing the enemy did, they blinded him. They took his vision. And if the word had stopped there, they'd be a sad story indeed, wouldn't it? But the word began to go on. They took him and they put him down at the mill. He was grinding at the mill, but his hair began to grow again. How one day all the lords of the Philistines began to gather together and began to worship their old lost God, their old fish headed God. They, they began to say, Send for Samson, bring him up to make support of He's going to be our entertainment for this evening. They begin to lead that man up, begin to make sport with him. The way that the house was made, there were there was two main pillars that supported the top of that house. Samson asked the child to lead him over that he might lean upon him. And then he began to pray. He was blinded by the enemy. And he said, Oh Lord. Remember me. Anybody ever had to pray that prayer? Yeah. The enemy come along and blinded you and you wound up a friend of that enemy. And then the Lord God began to come by one day and you was allowed to say, Oh, remember me. Yeah. But I might have my eyes. Hmm? Praise the Lord. Then folks tonight that are blinded by the enemy. But you're sitting here and you can see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't even go on and on and on tell you. If you're sitting in a place for the man that will preach you the truth. Men that will preach you the truth. Prophets that will prophesy to you and you can go write it down and wait for it to come. They don't have to come along and say, well, maybe this happened or maybe that happened. You're sitting among the Holy Ghost. The power of God. The anointing of God. You're blessed where you are this evening. You're blessed to be in this place tonight. We're not careful. We'll take it for granted. Hallelujah. Say, come down among you good people a while ago. There are folks around the world that would love to feel what you said to her. And you watched it move. Some of you better crawl across your flesh. There's some of you the hair that stood on him. There's a world out there that doesn't know what you know. You better be thankful for that little bit that you know about the Lord. Be thankful tonight. Hallelujah. You might not be where you want to be in the Lord. But look back and realize you're not where you used to be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord doesn't bring anybody in just let them sit down. He'll walk you all the way home. 
had a problem called the one that believed he was as blind as he was. These folks who sits in places and the men that preach to them are as blind as any sinner that ever lived. There's no Holy Ghost. There's no baptism of the Holy Ghost. There's only one. That means they'll take devils up in their hands. The Lord only looks on the heart. It doesn't matter what's on the outside.
Not physically that yeah. altar, but that altar that you know about. Amen. And pray like you've never prayed yeah. before. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Son, I'll let the end and take the joy out of your life. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't let him come to you, son, and beat you down. No. You got the greatest thing that ever was. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jesus. Yeah. You got yeah. Jesus. You, <laughs> you got all that a man could desire. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to the sweet man of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. Glory to God. Oh. Don't you let my name the Lord come and open your eyes and let you see? Yeah. Hallelujah. He can't do He can't bring yourself to where he is tonight. Tell him the Lord. Him yeah. Yeah. Robert, you keep, I'm telling you, you keep it up, you're going to get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Amen. But if the blind lead the blind, they'll say, you don't have, you don't need the Holy Ghost. I need Him. I need Him. I need Him. Jesus referred to the Holy Ghost as He and Him. I need Him. Right. Amen. Do you need Him? Yes, you do. Right. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. You know, I've been praying. This is something that by, by and by the enemy took from us and I felt led to bring our people back to pray. Because oh, yeah. a blind leader would say it don't matter if you gather out and pray or not. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Let's have a Super Bowl party. <laughs> there ain't no derby days at this church. I'm a running the race and the horse ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't bet. Mm. But the Bible say, go ahead and buy you a scratch off. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Might as well bless you while I'm up. You can't never get back with the Lord. I have seen conviction come to the backslider. And I have seen them weep and pray through and get back to God. But the blind man will only go on what the old hard hearted preacher would say that took great delight in stopping somebody to death. Come on. I'm glad of what I can see. Yeah. I'm glad of what I can see. Yeah. I'm going to bring you something else. Put my toes in, boy. I'm going to bring you some scripture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If a brother or sister is married, they start, they start serving the Lord. Yeah. If they have an unbelieving spouse that departs from them because of the Lord. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Brother or sister go on in the bondage and say, Get quiet if you want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get quiet if you want to. No, no, no. But it's the book. It's the book. It's the book. I ain't telling you to go out and find you another. No, no. But you're not bound until that one will lead you over the Lord. No, no, no. Amen. Go ahead and say amen. amen. Pray for him. Can he pass his roll in the grave? If there be a pass, he ain't got no power in the life to move him. Won't say go in the grave. Mr. Blind, he's blind. Some of these children thinking that they can't make it. Right. Oh, come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. They better have with Jesus because he wasn't, his disciples wasn't keeping the traditions of the elders. Right. They didn't say that to the commandments of God. They just talked about what their fathers had taught. Amen. 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 That's why Jesus said that they transgressed, they, they transgressed, they didn't keep the commandments of God. Right. No. You worry about what the Father said. What about what the Father right. has said? Amen. But I'm glad I can see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I can see. Yeah. Hmm? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know who learns to have mercy? 
the ones that get down in the place that they needed mercy. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen folks be cruel and hard towards people. Yeah. Yeah. I have. I've heard them just bring it and they got no hope. Then their children will get it back. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's mercy, mercy, mercy. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Yeah. Grace, grace, grace. Where was the grace when the other one did? They couldn't see. They're worried about what some of the big things would think about. Come on. There's only one name I'm worried about tonight. What he thinks about me. His name is Jesus. The rest of them, y'all get in the line, go take a number. Come on. But we better appreciate what we've been made to see. Out there in the world tonight, there are people that are burning little incense sticks in front of statues. They'll pour water on rocks. They'll lay food in front of a graven image. And they'll bow down and they'll pray to that image. Surely, Brother Jesse, it doesn't happen today. It happens today. There are those that go into churches and bow to an image. Just a figure, a form of godliness. But the power's been denied. The Holy Ghost is done and put out of the And all they have is a form. And they pray. There are folks that are going to what looks like a little closet with a little screen. And there'll be a man that is just as bad as sin as they are sitting on the other side of that screen. And they'll ask for that man to bless them. And to pray for them for the sins they've done. And then they begin to tell that man what they've done. And he'll say, well, you go and say uh, six Hail Marys, three Our Fathers. Come on. Come on, Aren't you glad to see the children? Yes. That you have an altar at home that you can go get it out there. Yes. Uh, and uh, you can get down there and you can talk to the King of Kings. Yes. Talk directly to the Lord for yourself. Yes. Now, if, we, if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Yeah. He's the propitiation for our sins. And not our sins only, but also for the sins of the whole world. In other words, if you sin, you can go to Jesus. But if you're living right, you can talk to God. Amen. Uh, uh, and there's some survivors that don't know what happens. Oh, man. 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 Oh, when the Lord opens the door, you take it and you leave. And don't you worry about what you leave behind. You get out and you make your escape as soon as the Lord makes the way. Because it's the blind lead the blind.
Would it be all right <laughs> if I say this? Go ahead and pack your bag and have it ready. Man. I know where I am. You know where I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord will do things his way, Spencer, won't he? Uh, he does. He don't do things the way I think. No. But see, he showed me that. He opened my eyes one time. I, I was upset with the Lord. Don't you look at me like I'm the only man that's ever been upset with the Lord. I was upset with the Lord because something didn't go away. I thought that it should be. And I was blind. And what I thought would have been good was not good. But what the Lord did, see, He could see. And He took me on and moved me to the place where He wanted me. And He opened my eyes and every time that I looked back, I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Where would I be? Where would I be? Things that went the way I thought they should go. Where would I be, Caleb? What shape would I be in? But you see, Lord, can open my eyes and let me see the way down. Uh, ever a brother in, in, in the church that loved you, you're looking at him. <laughs> I love Brother John, don't you? I love him. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Don't get jealous, excuse me. I love you too. But I love Brother John. <laughs> and I'm glad that the Lord has brought him over this world. Yeah. But we can sit and we can enjoy the truth. We can enjoy yeah. the scripture. While he and I talk sometimes, then the other folks fall at one another. But we can talk because we love one another. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you been made to see the love? Yeah. Listen, have you beheld the love of God? Have you seen the love of God? Have you watched it? Yes. Have you watched it? <laughs> hey, Donnie. You didn't know last night because you you had your eyes closed and you was praying. Did you all notice? Almost every brother in this church came up here and prayed with you. And I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, that is when we get something done with the Lord. When we come together. Aren't you glad you can see? Go over to it. I sat down when he said this.
that we can see now. I love the Lord tonight. I'm going to try to ease over here find a place to sit down. But you can't remember that. That there are people that would love, if they could, they'd love to stop facing you. To be where you're at. To feel what you get to feel. Hear what you get to hear. See what you get to see. We're blessed. Yeah. Oh, really, this is a little further. We're spoiled. Yeah. Right. We're spoiled. Amen. I love you, good Lord. Your old brothers come on, my Lord. If I do my own, I'll be always open it, never close Don't be placed to bed. Be your best.